one Lucio up to the task. I mean, it certainly is wins. He is a great Lucio, despite him having, you know, some issues in the past here. Uh, but so far, though, it's going to be an even trade on both sides. They end up losing two, uh, two supports, but for Rogue, that is going to hurt even more because he's solo supporting on this. Unko really close to being able to pick up that EMP, but I just don't see an opportunity from using it. He actually is just going to go with it, drop the EMP. Now they're going to go ahead, take out Fact Fiction, and Rogue, they're able to win this fight out here if they can get these kills. Yeah, you had wins coming back off spawn. You use the EMP, you get back onto the point. Rogue doing a nice job farming the health packs that Unko is hacking here on the Sombra. AKM will get demacked, but Rogue still holding on on the point. Shadowburn out of the equation. Nico Very well takes done. out Rogue. Want to get aggressive on here. I mean, they're just going to have to wait it out. Do they use it? Not yet, perhaps. Sound Barrier has come out, though, for Rogue as they're looking to engage here. And now the Sound Barrier is out. Unko, he is going to use that EMP, but not in the time there that it would have eliminated the shield in that exchange. And FaZe, they do have the man advantage, they do have the numbers, they clear them out, and now they're gonna pass Rogue here on Percentage. Well, if they stay alive through it, now it's gonna be Shadowburn's Dragon Blade. Shadowburn with a Dragon Blade, cuts through wins, looks for another one, yeah, it's gonna be Nox, give him two there, maybe a third as well with the Shurikens. They make the flip happen, and now it's just gonna be up to Unko and AKM to try and stay alive, soon hanging out there on the side as well. AKM will be deleted off the point soon, not long for this world, potentially, but here comes the re-engagement. Wins trying to keep everyone in this. There goes the EMP, but it will not catch Joe Meister, so he can use the beat freely to keep his team in this fight and gets a considerable amount of his teammates into the beat, giving them the shields, giving them the kills now. And FaZe, they win it out. He will have that attack visor, and he will be a real thorn on the side of FaZe. He hasn't... Or on, uh, yeah, for FaZe. He hasn't used it yet, though. He's still weighing this one out. And there you go. He's going to pop it, but he dies, so he will not use it in time. Shadowburn digs right through the supports while well, Fact Fiction will take care of AKM and FaZe make this flip happen. The equation here. Shadowburn, though, with the blade could make a big impact. If you can get, you know, potentially, Unko to use that. Oh, he falls. I was going to say, if you can get Unko to use the Transcendence, wow. then you can use the blade. You, d you don't even need that to happen because you drop him right at the beginning. It is uh, a lot like what the desk talked about. The supports dropping early here from Rogue on the last two pushes. So they're going to have a sound barrier. They're going to have their self-destruct in a pulse bomb here. See, so Carpe they gets gotta on, get the, on point. the point. Rogue, you think they work their way back towards it. As you see, soon just gonna drop down, try and contest a little one-on-one -on -one tracer battle here. Gotta love the 1v1 tracer fight. Carpe, he's gonna have the slide upper hand. And that's going to have to prompt soon to back away. He's going to make the play happen. It. And now it's going to be an overtime. And FaZe, they're going to have the upper hand. They do manage to pick up the two kills. Bye-bye, Nox, yet again. Oh, man, the Winston just really struggling on that one. And FaZe, they have this one in control. They get all the kills. And uh, just Carpe, you know, I mean, there wasn't just much that Rogue could do on that one, right? They had to worry about the players on the side of FaZe pushing up on the top side. Still, though, they have uh, some kind of control here. No, that's going to do it. Two points there for FaZe, giving them the W. But man, and force them back. Or you can get a nice pick there as well. Maybe take out the D.Va before they get into the mech. No, drops the Pulse Bomb, though. Will do significant damage to Spree. Here comes the Transcendence along with the Attack Visor. You said, you know, at what point do you use it? And it seemed like Rogue said, hey, you know, you got to use it now, right? There's no reason not to. There is a Shadow Burn with the Dragon Blade, the Nano Blade, as a matter of fact, and Rogue are just gonna force their way right through. But this is certainly a really messy fight on both sides as they're just trying to maintain control. Carpe is able to answer back though. They're maintaining some kind of presence onto the point for the time being. They get the kills. Their they transcendence here as well. Rogue is still held on to both of their support alts here. Try and put it away. Yeah, I think Rogue knows that they would really like to be able to use this one if they can get the point. That will give them just they such an upper hand it. going to this next fight. And they don't use the support ults at all. They get the second point. You know, when do you see this Dragon Blade come He's out down. from Shadowburn? I mean, you see they're able to just deal with this so well as Rogue is. Now Rogue has built up you know, a ton of ultimates there. They use the Transcendence as soon as the Sour comes in. Here comes the Transcendence from FaZe Clan. The Tac Visor comes in from Rogue. You do have your own Sound Barrier here. You're still holding on to that, you know, waiting for Shadowburn to pop that Dragon Blade. Very smart ult management from Rogue has Given them just an upper hand in this fight. Spawns are gonna start rolling out. There goes the Diva Bomb, and Nox wants to just keep pushing this payload. 
keep putting the pressure on them here. There goes the sound barrier. It's going to drop. The beat drops, and that will give them three Later points. This fight. Maybe you think about investing it. I think he was uh, expecting the supporters to push up there. That's why he threw the pulse bomb a little willy-nilly on that. But FaZe, they get two ticks. They're really close to being able to make the cap happen. There goes the nano boost onto the Winston. Knox putting a lot of pressure onto them, but the sound barrier is dropped. Joe Meister marches forward and they get, they're they getting the kills. FaZe so close to being able to make this cap happen, X. Yeah, and they actually take out AKM on the point as soon as the sound I mean, barrier. Wait for the opportune moment to use this one. 1.33 meters left, they're so close. Actually. That, that's what they were waiting for, I think. They were waiting for the sound barrier to come in from wins. Then you see the Dragon Blade come out there. First Shadow Burn, deflect, you know, going right back in Unko's face as it's gonna be two kills for Phase Clan. It'll be Nox using the Primal Rage, trying to stay alive, and there comes an EMP from AKM. Yeah, they just don't get all that much return there from the Dragon Blade, and you know, that Primal Rage, he's just gonna force him to back away. But Fact Fiction immediately back into the action Getting two and getting that point there. They got to so. engage right now. Rogue has to jump into the action. They're so close from being able to make the cap happen. 2.44 meters. Fact Fiction just knocking everyone back. Joe Meister is going to drop the beat, giving them the shields. And this is just looking very good here for FaZe as they get the kills. Here comes D.Va to try and contest and keep this one going. Keep the defense living for Rogue. But that will do it. So much time given to phase here three minutes he needs to keep him alive in this one but they end up losing out on the tanks early on both the dps going to be tucked away into the corner now onto the point they go but they're getting the kills soon into the back line over time in effect can they take out the supports can soon dive in there and eliminate him the flanker roll and phase they're picking them off left right and center and that is going to do it. I mean, X, you know, I, I stand corrected. You are 100% right. Losing out, shoot the shield that was right through the wall there to try and just bring down the health. They're going to be on the point here. And this is kind of shades of what we saw in control earlier where Carpe was able to get on to the point and force people to have to go back. Phase, they're lining up the kills. Carpe will drop to Nico there as Spree. They get it. They clear them out. One player is going to drop in. It's going to be a last-ditch effort from Wim to keep them in this game, but it will not be enough. FaZe win out 4-3. Yeah, it, it's just these extra few seconds, though, that's going to allow Shadowburn to come back off the spawn. There comes the EMP from FaZe Clan. It'll be Nox, though, getting his spree out of his mech. Carpe falls to his death as well. So this looks like a fight that is good for Rogue. Yeah, which is uh, kind of nutty considering that the EMP dropped, but there was just no follow-up there for FaZe. Shadowburn is going to get picked off in their EMP. See if Rogue can make this push happen. Though. I think maybe they were hoping that uh, Winds would use the sound barrier if you heard the Dragon Blade come out. I mean, I, I don't know. Like, that just seemed a little weird. There goes the sound barrier, and they know they don't have to worry about the EMP, so they are going to have free reign onto the point here. Here goes the EMP for Unco and company. Nico moves in. Death Blossom is playing out, and that's going to be the cap. Sure, but you no know, face plan goes all the way on the right side. Now going to go all the way back towards that mega health pack. Yeah, they're gonna have that to work with. Meanwhile, FaZe just won't have it because it, you know, has been, unless, yeah, it hasn't been hacked there. But they get all these kills, and my goodness gracious, they just push right through. Well, here's the thing with the Doomfist, right? You've built a lot of these ults back up, but here comes a Nano Boost plus Dragon Blade in for Shadowburn. And he's just getting knocked all over the place. Unko able to get out the EMP in time, but not sure who it ended up connecting with on that one. Soon gets a couple of stops on that. So far, so good, but phase plan, able to respond in turn. Keep in mind, though, that spawn's gonna be right there. There goes the Diva Bomb, forcing people away. Carpe able to stay alive, the DPS living on the point. Oh, so close to being able to get that first tick, but here comes Rogue. Already to an EMP. There comes the sound barrier there for Joe Meister. Unko does get the EMP in time. It'll be Shadowburn, though, drawing first blood on an Eco. Shadowburn with oh, another kill out in time. on a soon. So you don't see the EMP come into question, and you don't see Nico's Dragon Blade at the beginning of the fight. Well, let's see if they're going to be able to stall this one out. They are able to get that first tick now. Look at Wins hiding up top with the sound barrier, though. He could come out from around this corner and use it to keep the teammates oh, they alive. they got to jump on the point right now. They're going to make the contestment happen. Nico with the Dragon Blade. EMP is going to be out as well. Nico dives to the back, but it's going to hurt quite a bit. They're going to go down in the score, but now here we go. And Shadowburn said before that Rocket Punch just opens up so much for them. They haven't been able to get access to the left side yet, but it seems like it's not going to matter. They're just going to force their way right through the front, now pushing everyone back here. And just you see that damage come through. Dear Lord, he is just well, shredding right through them. Well, well, I mean, it's worst case for Rogue, right? I mean, you lose wins right at the beginning. Yeah. Trying to wait for that prime opportunity, that prime one shot. 
I think they are going to DMAC AKM. Seismic, or excuse me, the Meteor Strike is going to come down. Waiting it out to see who he's going to find here as he drops in on the action. Spree with the self destruct is able to, to remove Unco from the equation so he can't use that EMP. They are able to get a couple kills though. Spree by himself on the point. And now overtime is going to play out, but I don't think anyone's going to be able to get there in time. And Rogue. Just, as they push on forward, this might be a push that they can make happen here as they force everyone back. No one's going to be from phase. No one's going to be there from phase to be able to respond. Get the kills all around, left, right, center, making the progress. And it seems like this is going to be a cap here for Rogue. This is exactly what they needed here, that that sound barrier was going to be coming. Here comes the Transcendence on the other side. AKM, though, will get hacked, and he will get dropped in turn. Soon trying to stay alive here onto the point. Pulse Bomb's gonna be dropped. Does he get a kill with that one? No, Spree. Still, he's still gonna be in that mech. Just trying to keep his teammates up with that defense matrix. Finally, he's gonna get demeched, and this is the opportunity that Rogue was looking for, but they're so close. They're gonna answer right back. FaZe hold this one down. Primal Rage, a desperation play to keep themselves engaged in this fight. But I just don't think it's gonna be enough. Nico's gonna be in a world of hurt. Overtime is down, and that will do it. Rogue. AKM's the more ult charge be able to build up on it. and if you you let AKM get that high ground I mean he's just gonna shred right through them with that attack visor so I gotta be mindful of that one here it's so getting contested up into the shuttle soon trying to see if he could bring down some of the help here of uh, you know the members of phase as they don't want to give away that high ground and for reasons that I just said you just don't want to give that one up you can't let the 76 get possession of that yeah, well, I mean, while uh, they're playing for this high ground, the payload has made a decent amount of progress. The attack visor comes out here for AKM as, you know, it gets eaten up. They did use the pulse bomb. He didn't really get much for it. There comes a the dragon blade right into this death room here. That's going to have to prompt them to use the support ults to drop the beat. Shadowburn gets a kill onto AKM and Unko using the transcendence basically as soon as he gets it here. But FaZe, they're able to get a couple kills that will put this fight in their favor. Overtime is going to be in effect. Now the Diva Bomb drops down. Do they get any kills? Well, Nox able to kill Rockus on that one. But so far, this has been all phase. They look pretty solid holding this one off. Nico, he's going to have barely any help remaining. They're going to have to push him back. Nox as well. Oh, boy, this is just not looking good for the Frenchman here as they look like they're going to get shut down and so close to being able to make this one happen. So close for phase of being able to end this push right here, right now, and they do so. Next engagement. And they're in a good spot to just kind of roll through hangar. There comes the EMP to open things up for Rogue. Question is when they're going to use that sound barrier to be able to keep them alive in this fight. Here comes Shadowburn. He's going to get the Nano Blade as well. Cuts through on Co. Looks for wins in the back line. Maybe he's going to get a, just a Rogue Tracer as well. Will end up getting hacked though from the Sombra. Still, they were able to keep themselves alive in this fight. On the other side of that though, they end up losing out on Spree's Diva Mech. And that will give Rogue the ability to it's all about getting that first pick. 25 seconds left on the clock. Primal Rage is going to be down. And there you hear the beat. It drops down, giving them the shields. Shadowburn and the rest of the crew forcing everyone back in phase. They're so close to being able to make this happen. But there goes the EMP. It's going to stop Spree from being able to protect anyone there with the D.Va. Here comes Carpe. Drops that pulse bomb, but doesn't get much for it, though. Still alive. And a alive Carpe is certainly something that you have to fear. They have three members up. They push on it, and they do manage to make it happen. And it now they've actually built up a decent amount of them. You see a self-destruct go over the top. Not going to connect with anything. Shadowburn, though, does have Dragon Blade yet and again. Rockus does have the Nano Boost if they want to combo. Let's see if they opt to use this one here. Here you go. You were right, Axe. He's going to use it. Oh, my goodness. He cuts through the supports. He's going to find himself AKN2. And that's going to be three members down. They're so close from being able to cap this and get that second point on the board. They will win. Cell Barrier is going to come out, but I just don't know if, uh, you know, Rogue, they can't really answer back. The Sound Barrier for FaZe pretty much seals that. Transcendence comes in to stall things now. Well, He's and they have Sound the Barrier as well for Rogue. So you're going to be true, able to get two true. support alts here. So you're still in this if you are Rogue. You get a lot of members back into the fight. It's going to be a Dragon Blade that comes out from Nico. But they have to get the follow-up. They have to get the kills. And Dragon Blade for Nico gets Raucous. You can see him just continuing to apply pressure here. Wins is not in the best of spots. He's going to be really hurt. They lose out on Winston, too. And that is also going to sting. As now, they're so close from being able to make this happen. 3.77 meters. They clear them out. Unco goes in for the desperation, but he won't be able to make it happen. And that will be it. FaZe, they get themselves four map wins in this series here against Rogue.
GG's all around, but FaZe, they beat Rogue in each and every one of their maps.